phone. Yeah, exactly. That phone is gone. Bro, I couldn't do this, bro. My nerves would be my nerves would be bad as fuck. I couldn't do this, bro. Yeah, like they like they following the same beat right now. Even with the, even though they're the originators, they're following like the last one was following their beat pretty much. If you can get too close to the window, they're gonna be standing right by the window. Face first, nigga. Welcome back to another video. Hey, if you new, make sure you leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video. Now today we have the strangers from, what year is this? Not the new one that just came out. Yeah, the strangers from 2008. Okay. The strangers from 2008. I just recently reacted to the one that just came out. I ain't gonna lie. First watch, I gave it, I think I gave it an 8 out of 10. But then after going over it, seeing other people's like perception of it and whatever, I realized that shit was fucking terrible. It was like, like the the couple, like the couple was fucking just. I'm sorry. They did. They. I thought the blackening. I thought they decision making was trash. But I think it was really just much of a parody of how well, how other people are in scary movies. But this right here, nigga, 2024 is the watch. I mean the watchers, uh, the strangers. Bro, these niggas, these niggas decision making was terrible. This nigga, even the part where the nigga had the shotgun to, to one to one of the killer's head, he could have been blew her shit off. This nigga talking about some give me your reason why I shouldn't. Nigga, you have multiple reasons. The fuck are you bro? Nigga have nigga, you have multiple reasons. You had multiple reasons. That's why I said they deserve like he deserves to get his shit knocked off. Cause cause how and it pissed me off because I said it in the last video. Like when they killed the, I guess that was the owner that came to the house, the one that they accidentally shot. He was he was real quick to shoot him by accident. But then when you when you actually saw one of the killers, nigga, you trying to talk to them and shit and tell them like like oh like where's Maya? Like nigga. <laughs> okay, but okay, uh, but with this one, I think I, I said I, I have seen bits and pieces of this one, but the entire movie, no, I haven't. I have seen the last part where they asked, like, why are you doing this? And he said, because you were home. Again, I don't get the whole, oh, they're just doing it just to do it. Like, I don't I don't get that. I want to see how this shit plays out, though. So we finna jump right into it. So I ain't gonna do too much talking. So if you guys end up liking my reaction, please like the video. It helps out a lot. It gets me pushed across the YouTube algorithm. So if you guys really want to help me out and get my channel out there to the YouTube world, you guys have to like the video. Comment down below what you want to see next. Hit that subscribe button. Share the video and the channel as well. And hit that Patreon link below if you want to see the full reaction to this video. So without further ado, y'all, let's get right into it. Kristen McKay and James Hoyt left a friend's wedding reception and returned to the Hoyt family's summer home. The brutal events that took place there are still not entirely known. Two things I want to say first. Number one, because I don't want to get her name wrong or I don't want to get the actress name wrong. I would just say um, the lady that played Betty from The Incredible Hulk, I know she's in here. I can't remember the other dude's name, her, her husband. I know they're in the movie. Uh, that's the first thing. Second thing is, it's been a minute since I heard that little fucking deep voice in a scary movie like that. Like the last time I heard that shit was in, I think Texas Chainsaw. And I have seen all the Texas Chainsaws. I seen, well not all of them, I take it back. I seen the original one, I guess the remake they tried to do. And then the uh, the one with Jordana Brewster, I seen that one. I seen the one with Trey Songs. I seen that one too. The one they put on Netflix, I, uh, like the latest one, I seen that one too. But I, I just want to point that out there. So if you guys was expecting me to like put that on this channel i'm already already seen them already and that's why i say y'all guys for the, if, if you guys really want to see my reaction to to any anything you have to you have to like hey let me know like either request on my patreon or like comment down below with, like what you want me to see next you know and i'll let you know if i've seen it or not you know what i'm saying it's a, but it's up to you it's up to you They said summer home, even still, like it was other houses on the street, nigga. We found people. We, 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 you found who, Jordan? Who did okay, you so find? this may be the, the little kids that's, that's on the phone with the cops. Long. 
Liv Tyler, that's her name. I was gonna say Blake Lively, no, but Blake Lively is um, isn't that Ryan Reynolds' wife? Also, what's like, why y'all, why y'all so quiet? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't know about the talk. <laughs> I didn't know if the rose was going first or after. I mean, after, yeah, nigga. I don't know either. You put the water. The water goes first, then the roses, nigga. What's going on? Like, what the fuck? Like, it's so weird right now. It's, it's weird. Uh, I thought you want to see you, but things they didn't work out the way uh, that at the dirty ass water. at all. I only wanted to dance with you. Well, we're dancing right now. Jerk. You're a jerk. <laughs> You're a jerk. We're all jerks. So that's all we gonna get for right now. I'm I'm pretty sure that's all we gonna get. It's like they're gonna they're gonna keep showing us like bits and pieces on what led up to this moment. Oh, she must have said no. Damn, yeah, she must have said no. I kind of see it now. I kind of see it now because in the in the the one that just came out, the girl said the same thing. Like she told him like. Like, as he proposed the first time and she said no. So it seemed like they, they were trying to switch it up with the new one. But in this one, it's like, it's like they're just getting straight to it, pretty much. I'm telling you, that, that's... Nice, everything you did. It's beautiful. That shit, I know that shit sucks, bro. Asking your girl, the one you love so much, to marry you just for her to say no. Again, I wouldn't know what to do, bro. We we'll had the whole evening plan. And that's the one thing, like that nigga didn't have the the uh, the new one. That nigga didn't have the evening plan, you know. All that nigga did was went out, bought some burgers, and came back. But this one, had she did say yes, they was gonna have a romantic evening. You know what I'm saying? We gonna have dinner, drink some champagne, probably eat on some ice cream, and then they was probably gonna make love after that. But nigga, all she said was, "One word can change everything, bro." That's what me and my wife are gonna do. Cause she gonna say yes. Well, she says yes. I'm so sorry. It wasn't the way you thought it was. What do we do now? What can you do? This is embarrassing. Nigga. You gotta think about it, bro. It's like, cause see nowadays, bro, as a man, if you've been with a girl for so long, bro, and it's like, you don't pop the question. Cause all I be hearing is like five years and no ring or seven years and no ring, eight years and no ring. That's why like most niggas, Maybe like after the third year, you be popping the fucking question. I don't, I don't know, how, I don't know how long their 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 time line is in their relationship, but I feel like it's been. It looks like it's long enough to where he he felt comfortable and felt like he was ready to say, you know what, I'm ready to be with her and take this next step in this in our in our relationship. I want to get to that next chapter. I want to move on to the next chapter in our relationship, which is marriage. It's not like she don't want to be with him though. She still wants to be with him. She's just not ready. Then, 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 then the question stems, if y'all do stay together, how longer do you wait? How longer should you wait? Most niggas don't even want to deal with that. It's like, after you say no, it's like, now I got to sit here and wait longer. Now I got to figure figure how long I should wait. Because if I wait too long, then it's like, you know what I'm saying? But if I don't wait long enough, it's going to feel like I'm forcing you. So, Hello. Man, screwed that shit. That's what happened. Is Tamra here? Who the no. fuck is Tamra, bro? That's weird. Yeah. The people get lost out here. Should I go get her? She seemed okay. I mean, I think she would have said if she was. Bro, wasn't. you should have did that when she was standing there the first time. I'm assuming one I watched last night is the that was pretty much the remake. Yes. Yeah. This one, this was obviously this is the original, but so it seemed like the same elements and aspects is about to happen in this film. You know, he about to leave, she finna get fucked with, and then he'll come back, and then then that's when the action really starts to begin, pretty much. You're a smart motherfucker. That's right. I don't think a road trip's a good idea right now. I called Mike. He's gonna come out and get me in the morning. Damn. I mean, he did call him, but I didn't think he was gonna tell her. At least he was honest about it. You gonna be okay here? Yeah, I'll be fine. Uh, okay. I don't Thanks know about for that. Thanks me a fire. Sure. I ain't gonna lie, what store is open around that area at four o'clock for some cigarettes? Nigga, you tripping. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get on their case as much just cause I think I took most of my, <laughs> I think I took most of my frustration, frustration out on the other couple in the last movie. So I feel like, but I feel like they're gonna make better decisions or at least attempt to. 
you know. I'm assuming by the end he's gonna ask her to marry him and she's gonna say yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah, it seems about right. It's like I kinda know when the knocks and shit finna happen because when the music kinda gets like to like fade out, that's when the knocks and shit happens. Worst part, they ain't got no peephole either. Niggas ain't got no peephole or nothing. Is Tamar home? Nigga, no, Tamar's not home. Get the fuck off my property, bro. You already came by here. Tamar's not here. T is not here. No, bro. Are you sure? None of them. No, no, no. They're not here, bro. That girl. I mean, she she keeps knocking on the door. Yeah, but it wasn't just her. What do you mean? I heard her voice. No, I didn't open the door. I don't know. The battery's dead. I'm charging it right now. Okay, okay. Shit, they Just probably, want you to they, come they home, probably okay? took that motherfucker because you're not in the living room right now. Oh, oh, oh shit. I, oh, no, nah, that's creepy as fuck, bro. Oh, no, I, bro, you turn, turn around us. Bro, your peripheral vision not working? James? There's no way you think that's James. It ain't James, Kendall, Logan, or Carlos, nigga. Like, stop. <sighs> phone, that phone, yeah, exactly. That phone is gone. <sighs> bro, I couldn't do this, bro. My nerves would be, my nerves just be bad as fuck. I couldn't do this, bro. Yeah, like they, like they following the same beat right now. Even with the, even though they're the originators, they're following like the last one was following their beat pretty much. You can get too close to the window, they're gonna be standing right by the window, face first, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why the fuck I even jumped at all, knowing like I just I just said what the fuck was gonna happen. I think it's I, I was expecting one of the girls to be there. That's why I did that. It's like it's like in the last video, bro. Like I expected like like when I did a little jump scare, I was expecting the nigga to be there. It was the girl. Now this time I expected the girl, but it's the nigga. No way! Yeah, that ain't gonna do nothing. Sit down. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. I didn't know there's somebody out there. I saw a man at the back door, and he's wearing a mask. What do you mean, what do you mean, like, like a ski mask? What? Like no ski fucking mask! mask. This nigga no, said no. a ski mask. No one out of here. Nobody, come here. Come here. Yeah, they're not out there right now. But they're, they're, they're there, bro. You well, know, they want something. People just don't stand out there staring at us like that. They want something. They want to kill you. Shit. I'm gonna my phone in the car. I'm gonna go get it. Nigga, Damn. what the f- Why? I think going forward, I'm gonna start watching some scary movies at night. Or like, any, anything that I gotta do with scary movies or thriller movies, just going forward, I'm watching this shit at night. Shit. Man, this is going, bro. Bro, chill out. Bro, nah, nah, bro. Do you believe her now, bro? What's happening? Kristen. Bro. Bro, at this point, bro. Kristen, go. The fact that the car is still running, is look. it looks like it's drivable. Nigga, you can, st bro. God, ain't no go back inside, nigga. We leaving. Again, I already took most of my anger out on the last movie, so I'm not even gonna try to again. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my! Why the fuck would you do that? You found your phone? No, I told you they took my yeah, phone. I put it in your bag. James, it's not Nigga. in the bag. I Nigga, you wasn't here when she was. <laughs> nigga, it's not in her bag, nigga. You wasn't here when, like, when, when she was going through what she was going through. Bro. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> let, 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 let's go. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck the clothes. <laughs> Fuck the bag, nigga. Let's go, bro. Bro, drive that bitch around. I 
would have drove that hole through the through the through the through the uh the yard, bro. Y'all had all that land and grass to drive through that. Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. Even if them niggas would have tried to cut y'all off, I still would have found a way around them niggas. Y'all tripping, bro. <laughs> Nigga, that's all because you to shoot these niggas. What do you mean? Plus it's four in the morning, bro. The sun gotta come up at some point, bro. If I gotta sit there for at least two, three hours, I would, nigga. We're not gonna fucking die here. We're gonna sit here. We're gonna wait for the fucking cops to come or whatever. I would fucking die. Exactly. Cause real shit, if cause real shit, bro, if waiting was your only option, that's that's what I'll do, bro. Like, if waiting was my only option, then fuck it. And I got a gun? Nigga, I'm waiting. I'm going to sit there and wait. I'm going to make them niggas come to me. Now, in most cases, what would happen is the killer would get smart and realize, you know what? We're not going to go to them. They're not going to come to us. So the only way to really, like, rule these niggas out and get them out here is if we set this motherfucker on fire. That's the only way. That's the, I don't think that's going to happen in this movie. But in a, in a real situation, like, like I'm not going to go to them. Like, like they're not going to rule me out. And I'm not going to rule them out. Like, they, they, they don't want to come to me. I'm not going to them. So, fuck it. We finna sit. I'm going I'm to sit to the, I'm going to sit at this motherfucker until it's time to, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to sit at this bitch until it's time to, until the sun come up, nigga. It's supposed to be, uh, like, his friend that he called earlier. If he does die, well, he isn't dying. Let it be by, by them niggas and not him getting shot by by uh by James. If he gets shot, no bro. one could steer me right, but Mama tried. Mama but tried. He's shot. Mama tried to raise me. No, he's finna get shot because they're in that one room to his right. But the nigga behind him got an axe, so he don't know where they are in the house. But now he's about to know just because they finna shoot this nigga by accident. He's done. Hello. Damn! Woo! You know he did. Oh my god, bro. I'm not even surprised because I knew it was gonna happen. Damn, shot that nigga face off. Get off of me! Stop it! Mike! Mike! Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, y'all giving up y'all location. Like, I'm surprised the big nigga ain't come in and chop y'all niggas up already. But still, I mean, he should have still, he still should have let himself be known, bro. This is why I say make yourself known when you when you walking into a house or when you walking into like a residence or something. Don't just be walking around not saying shit, bro. That's exactly what I said in my fucking uh, the blackening reaction. I said, bro, make yourself known before you fuck around and just walk up on somebody or walk into an establishment, nigga. Make yourself known, nigga. It ain't his fault, but fuck, bro. He was gonna die regardless, though. Killer. Yes. Yeah. I want you to go. I want you to hide that. I ain't gonna lie, cause Mike was their only hope. Ain't the close range. He gonna shoot it, he need a close. Damn! Damn! I'd have shot his ass first. As soon as I heard them footsteps, I would have. Like, bro, because he had plenty of time. Like, look, he had plenty of time, dude. This was scream, bro. If this was scream, she would have been dead, bro. James. Okay, James. James is out of commission right now. Hello. Somebody, gonna, somebody gonna answer back. I feel it. They, are, they always do that. This is equivalent to the part where the girl wasn't like on the last one when the girl was in the woods and shit and she fucking she had the phone and she was like laying laying like in, in the in the trees and branches and shit this is this is basically what that's supposed to be bro nigga movie would have been over like, as soon as we hopped in that car, movie would have been over. I don't give a fuck if they would have came behind me in the truck. I would have found a way around them niggas. Help me. Where are you? All 
I said, where is, well, where is James right? They didn't catch this bitch? I guess that's the only hiding place you got left. Ain't nobody in that bitch. Constantly making noise, bro. You don't know how to set your ass still. I was I was until he find me, nigga. I would just stay right there. Worst part, imagine you got to pee, nigga, like really bad. But that nigga right there, he, I feel like he knows she's in there. He just he just he just fucking with her. Like, bitch, I know you in there. I'm just fucking with you. What is that? <laughs> yeah. That is a different mask, bro. That is not the same mask from before. Gonna die. Kristen, run! Nigga, she can barely fucking run. That shit. Damn. 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 They, 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 they did. Mike's so dirty, bro. Her decision making was way better than the other girls from the last one. I, I, can, I can say that now after watching, after watching this. And it's daytime? These niggas really could have made it if these niggas would have just sat back and chilled in that room, bro. Because it was, like, like bro say, it was four. But if these niggas would have just waited it out for like a few hours, bro, I'm telling you, they would be, A would have been good right now. Bro. Why are you doing this to us? Because you were home. I don't know. I, that, that reason still don't fly with me, bro. Maybe I don't get it, but that don't, that don't fly with me, bro. I'm not gonna show their face. Ooh. Yeah, seems about right. Damn, two, two, two steps. Hold up. You can kind of see his face a little bit. Cause the last one, nigga, got one stab. This nigga got three stabs. It's like you gotta really pause to see their face. Okay, yeah, they getting brutally stabbed right now. Oh, I forgot he's the. Why didn't he take his phone? Dude, I, I should have known that the girl was still alive because, like, because of like the new one, uh, the girl did survive. Imagine the niggas are still there. Are you fucking kidding me? Can I have one? Are you a sinner? Yes. I say, she say, no, you sinning right now. It's about lying. Also, my question is, is the Prey at Night supposed to be a sequel to this one? Or is, or is that supposed to be like his own thing? I'm pretty sure she's still not dead though. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Um, this one was better than the fucking new one by a long shot, by far. Cause at least with this one, at least with this one, their decision making wasn't as bad as again the last one. These niggas decision making was so fucking terrible. I did say, bro, get in the car, let's go. They hopped in that car, they tried to leave, but you know, like I said before, I would have just, I would have just, you know, what I'm saying, I would have went around these niggas somewhere. I feel like they're both scary in their own way i feel like this like the new one was modern day scary but this one was kind of had like that like early horror movie like early early horror film scary type of like vibe you know um the chase scenes and the and the and the tactics and shit everything was pretty much good good in this one. i gave this one a nine and i i i give the, the new one a five i gave it an eight the first time around but nah five i ain't gonna lie mike should have called out 
like he should because he was saying he said James Christian that Christian like he said they name's outside but then he get inside this nigga just working all around the fucking house all quiet and shit like nigga say something bro I'd have been calling out to see if anybody's like if any if anybody alive anybody in there that needs some fucking help like bro because he only he only, he only did it one time like just one like one good time. I feel like even if I didn't watch the last one, I felt like I still would have known, like, oh, he about to get this shit shot off because these niggas is in that, right there in that room. But this nigga, James, so fucking trigger happy. It's like, fam, you should have waited to see if it was, if it was like them for real. But nah, that last one, that nigga was way more trigger happy. Like, that new one, that, that nigga was way too trigger happy. Yeah, Lil Tyler's character again. I feel like she did way better than, she did way better than, than, than Maya. Again, both scares had their own, way, they had their own little thing, so I kind of fucked with both. The little teleportation shit, like how the one minute they did, next minute they not. Like especially in that one, in the new one, like like in the shower scene, like like Shorty was taking a shower and the main nigga, it's like he was right there, and then when she looked over, he not there no. Realistically, bro, that that that's not possible. That's about it, really. This is the shortest outro I think I've ever done. But all in all, if you guys didn't like my reaction, please like the video. It helps out a lot. It gets me pushed across the YouTube algorithm. So you guys have to like the video if you want to help me get out there and get, you know what I'm saying, pushed across the platform. Comment down below what you want to see next. Hit that subscribe button. Share the video and the channel as well. And hit that Patreon link below if you want to see the full reaction to this video. Until next time. Stay lit. Trip on me in the phantom. I go hard on the bezel.